Because indeed he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you for sharing that testimony. It really quickened my spirit to know that the same God that was healing years and years and years and years and years ago is still working in the life of his children. I like to sing the song, and I like you all to sing with me if you all could. Oh, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, to close your eyes as we sing it one more time. sitting in the presence of God, what came to my mind was that peace is something that is a freedom for us to have. Because what does the word of the Lord said in the book of Jeremiah? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. But today I ask you children and family of God. What is it that burdens you? What is it that distracts your mind? What is it that takes you away from the presence of God? The songwriter said, oh, what peace we often forfeit. Why? Because we do not carry our needs to the Lord in prayer. Why is it that we don't carry our needs to the Lord in prayer? Because we are afraid of disappointment. Because we are afraid of disappointment. There's so many things that we don't take to God because we are afraid of being let down. There's so many times God has asked us to take a step in faith, but we have not because we are afraid to be let down. But indeed, I'm here to remind someone today that the same God that told the man to pick up his mat and to walk that is the same God that we serve today. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. What needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry our knees to the Lord in prayer. What keeps you up at night? What bothers your mind? What, what, what is it that you worry about? I love how Jesus said that. What is it that you're anxious about? Worried about what is it that keeps you up at night that you think that the Lord cannot do in your life? Oh, what needless pain we bear. In the book of Luke, he said that, Come unto me, all ye that are labored and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. But the thing is that we're not going to the Lord with our burdens. 
Instead, we're trying to handle it ourselves. And the thing is that even if we do go to the Lord in prayer, we're not giving it all to the Lord. The book of Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, it said that trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Trust in the Lord. We don't trust in the Lord anymore. We don't trust in him as a family. We don't trust in him. We second guess his promises for our life. That is the reason why we're carrying so much needless burdens. That is the reason why we're worried about where we're going to lay our head tomorrow. That is the reason why we're burdened about tomorrow when today has its own problems towards us. Even as the lilies of the valley, he decorates them. Even as the scrolls don't have to worry about storing food. The birds don't have to worry about planting seed on the ground. Yet still the Lord, our heavenly father, takes care of them. How much more, me and you? So today I ask you, are you taking your knees to the Lord in prayer? How is your prayer life, if I may ask? There are many times that we just go to God seeking to gain not seeking to wait. He said that those that wait, <laughs> those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. How can you walk and not faint? How can you run and not be weary? Because it is not by might nor by power, but by the spirit of the living God. So what needless pain is it that you're bearing on today? Is it because you're seeking from a healing from the Lord? Is it that you're seeking the Lord to deliver you, to make a way to open a door for your job? What the Lord has said concerning your life, I'm here to tell you that no man can stop it. No man can say no to God, to what already God has said yes to. When Barak went to, when Balaam went to curse Israel, he said that how can I bless, how can I curse something that has already been blessed? And how can I bless something that has already been blessed? And what I'm here to tell you today is that the Lord has promised that he will bless you and he will not change his mind. So what needless pain are you bearing? Sometimes the enemy puts at the place where we feel like we're the only person going through something and we focus, we focus so much on the storms in our lives that we forget about the people that is around us. We forget that there are other people that are going through tougher storms. The thing is that what you're going through is just a thing in order to transform you, to make you the person that God has already called you to be. The thing is that the victory has already been won in your life. That healing that you're looking for is already there. That deliverance that you want is already there. Jesus is going to take you to it. But the question is that where is your focus? He said that seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything and its righteousness. You see how I was going to skip an important thing. Seek the key first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness and everything else will be added onto you. Everything else. We worry about the wrong things. We're chasing after material things. Happiness is now attached to material things. But where are you storing your treasures on today? Where is your heart on today? This is the word that the Lord is speaking, not just to you, but to us as a family on this morning. Oh, what needless pain we bear. If God has done it for someone, he will also do it for you. Do not let the enemy discourage you. Do not let the enemy put things inside your heart and make you question the Lord. Because indeed what the Lord has said he will do in your life, he will definitely do it. And indeed we can sing just as the songwriters sing. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you. Above the storm, Father, you are king over the flood.
I will be still and know you are God. When the oceans rise and the Jesus was in the boat and the race was crushing the waters was coming into the boat and the disciples were in panic I began to ask myself Lord why is it that you were still asleep because he said and he told he dropped within my spirit because even in the storm I am still in control even when the storms are raging when it seems like there is no way yet still your father our father is in control. So before I take my seat, let's just sing this song one more time. And whatever storms, whatever situation that you are in, I do not know what it is that you're seeking for the Lord to do in your life. But even as we sing this song, just begin to lift these things up to the Lord in prayer with this song. Oh, what peace we often for fade. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. One more time, one more time. Oh, what peace we often for Oh, 